Did Jay Z take rap serious at the time, or was it just more like a hobby for him? Well, that shit was more like a hobby, but you know what I'm saying? He took it serious. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it was like a hobby because that was he did on his. That's what he did on his pastime. But when it came up to bat, when it was it was time to take it serious, if he had to go, you know, shoot somebody down. Oh, he's going to be serious about it. So, you know, that's how, just how he used to carry it. I heard that, like, you know, like, when you, during that time, you know, like, dudes would, like, go from project building to project building, like, battling, like, the best rappers from every project. Is that something you guys did? Nah, really, because once that, once that uh, era, once that, um, it was a change of era. We left New York. We got to understand, we left New York in 88, 89. I, I left in 88, came back and got Jay in 89. So it wasn't a lot of street battles in the city for, uh, for him. You know what I'm saying? But out of town, like, like I said, Trenton and other places, it was just like, yeah, go, go, go battle this nigga or a nigga don't want to battle. They was just really, I can get a crowd around him just to hear him spit. Like, he ain't even have to be battling nobody. You know what I'm saying? They just like, yo, what you got now? Yo, what you wrote? And he'd be like, yo, check this out. And, and you know what I'm saying? And he'd just go from there. Um, the funniest shit is like I really seen was when Memphis Bleak came to him. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm like, you yeah, know, Memphis Bleak, yo, I'm ready. I'm ready for you type of shit. And Jay like, you ready for who? Me? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that, that right there was, I thought was the funniest shit. And I think that, that's what created a, a love for uh, Bleak in J.I.'s to me, that moment. You know what I'm saying? To, to be like, yo, Shorty, I just like the fact that he came at me. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and I think that's the love that he started with Bleak after I seen that one. That was the funniest shit I seen. Did they actually battle? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bleak said what he had to say, but, you know, shit, yeah, Bleak said what he had to say, but it, it had no bearings on. Jay ain't give him too much, but gave him just enough to be like, yeah, I, I get it. You, you the man. I'll go back with my pen and keep trying this, but not knowing when you go back with his pen, he's way advanced still. He ain't going to stop. But, yeah, that, that was dope, man. Yeah, Bleak tried him. Now, were him and Bleak already good friends at the time, or, or were they just know each other? Yeah, we was all from the same building and shit, you know what I mean? We, 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 like I said, our families grew up, so it was nothing to see Bleak in the hallway with Pampas. I used to see him in the hallway in Pampas because I was mad cool with Dre, his brother, you know what I'm saying? So, it was nothing, yeah. Bleak was definitely a part of this, man. Is there anybody... Uh famous or that, that we might know about that you seen him battle? That I seen him battle? Nah. I mean, besides wise intelligent, that, that's the, that's that, now that was one of the, the, good, the best ones that I missed, but I set it up. You know what I'm saying? Um, you can go online and, 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 and see that uh, wise intelligent from Trenton. Um, they used to always tell me when we was in Trenton, they used to always tell me about Wise and shit from out Northside and, and the projects, that he was the best, he was the best, he was the best, he was the best. I used to tell him, yo, I'm gonna go get my brother when I, once, he, once I see him. So I had seen him and shit, I said, all right, I'm gonna be right back. And um, I go across town, get Jay, and I wanna say I dropped Jay off in the middle of the projects with them Went and sped off, went and go took care of my business. By the time I came back, Jay was already walking off, meeting me on the corner, like, and he jumped in the car and shit, and I'm like, you know, I'm like, you good? He's like, yeah. I said, anything all right? He's like, yeah. I said, what happened? He just gave me the look like, what you smoked? This thing happened, yo. And he was like, yo, I ain't really get to hear about it from him, but afterwards I heard from everybody out there, like, yo, your brother smoked him. But Wise gave him some, gave him some, you know, some heat though. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, I think when people hear a different style, because they wasn't used to Jay's style, 
because Wise was nice. He was part of the, the poor righteous teachers. He was nice. He's, you know, um, but it's just the fact that Jay just brought a different style that had everybody mesmerized. Was he always spitting real fast from the beginning? Um, nah. But when he done it, you can understand and you can hear it clear. You get what I'm saying? Like, I noticed the change. I guess it changes with the time or whatever, but um, he always did it to a point where you can understand it and you can hear it clear. You know what I'm saying? So that, that's the, that's, and then I heard it from Jazz prior to that. Jazzo used to do that. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, it was a style that I think Jay caught from him. And then that's you know, you know what I'm saying? He put his twist and his voice to it. And that shit sound righteous. What are you thinking during all this? You know what I'm saying? Like, at this point, hip hop isn't this big, huge business that it is now. You know? And, and you know, you kind of got your, your other business that you're doing really good at. But, you know, Jay-Z got this incredible talent and he's, you know, destroying everybody with battles. Are you like, are you like thinking there's a future for this or? Um, I'm thinking that, I'm not thinking that it's a future for it, but I'm thinking that this is what's popping now. You know what I'm saying? Um, financially wise, are you not thinking that it's a future for it? Because they wasn't getting no money for it. You understand? So. My investment was just, yo, this is just what he liked to do. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? This is what he, this is the people he liked to hang out with. You know what I'm saying? Because we already have money going into this. So I'm like, yo, they don't have more than what we have, so I don't see a future in it yet. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, my investment was just my, that's who he was to me, and I like hearing my people, you know, in the studio. But did I think it was any money in the future for that? Nah, because we used to be around all of those dudes. I used to be around most of those rapper dudes. And I know what I had, didn't ha they didn't have what I had, so I knew it wasn't money in it back then. You know what I'm saying? The only people that was really I seen that was getting money were, that we was around was Kane and uh, uh, EPMD and all of those guys was, that was at the top of their game then. But other than that, man, it wasn't nobody really in the game getting no money to me to, for me to be like, I want to put my money to this because I didn't see it going that far. You mentioned Big Daddy Kane and EPMD. You know, you guys were around these guys? Yeah. You knew him? Yeah. <laughs> you got, just from, just, just from Jay-Z's talent? Yeah. You got to understand from, I don't recall how Jay met Kane. I don't know if it was through Jazzo or whoever or Clark Kent, but it's still his craft got him that far for him to meet him. And then once he met Kane, you know, it was all about, you know, them two going on tour and, you know, while they doing that, I'm still doing this. And it's the, like I said, and I'm still paying, it's still supporting that. So, you know, like I said, it really wasn't that much money in it, but we was around them people. Um, Prince Marky D, Salt and Pepper, Fresh Gordon that used to do the beats for all the fat boys. Yo, like, I've been around this shit before all this shit was going on. Damn, man, that's what's up, man. You mentioned him going on tour with Big Daddy Kane. Yeah. Was that like his first big experience in hip hop? Nah, I think going out to London with Jazz was bigger than anything he ever imagined. For himself at that time you know what I mean um, that tour shit he was already groomed you know he was going through a grooming process when t when Kane took him out on tour 